you know, we get asked a lot about, you know, how do you change, how do you change a bearing whenever the bearing on the shaft or the inner bearing race is bad on the shaft? How do you get those off? And there's a lot of different ways to do it. I've seen people use torches, um, bearing pullers. Um, you can use a bearing puller. There's a little bit of a gap in the back of the bearing race where you can use a puller to pull it off. Uh, but one of the easiest ways is if you'll take the shaft and balance it, you know, build something up behind it to, to balance or have somebody hold it, and set the bearing race on the back end of a vise. And then what we're going to do is take a hammer, a ball peen hammer, and hit up and down um, the bearing race. And what it's going to do is it's going to form a flat. Um, the, the ball peen hammer is harder than the bearing race, so it'll eventually flatten this out and it'll actually form a small crack. Once I get it enough, I'll be able to just slide the old bearing race off. You want to try to be careful not to hit up on the shaft too much up here, uh, especially on Z-Series shafts when you get back here on the shaft a little ways. The grease seal seals, so you want to be careful not to hit it. The main thing is to try to hit up and down on the shaft while we're doing it. And I usually use a 12 ounce, something like that. This is a little bit smaller ball peen, you know, 12 to 16 ounce ball peen hammer. And set it on something solid like the back of the vise. And we're going to have to hit this a few times to get it to start cracking, but I'm going to go ahead and start and see if we can't get it to work. Well, in this case, instead of flattening it, it actually broke the race, but it still effectively does the same thing. Once we get that off, I did hit the shaft here a little bit, but it's not up in the area enough to hurt it. And then we'll want to clean this off. The one thing about putting a new bearing race on, most people don't realize, but when you look at the new bearing race, uh, the bearing people don't make a big thing of this, but the bearing race itself has got a radius on one side and a chamfer on the other, which makes this bearing race easier to press on if you'll press it on with the radius side first. Uh, as compared to the chamfer, it'll have a tendency to catch because of the sharp edge. So when we get ready to install this, we're going to put the radius side on first. And I've found that the easiest way to do this is you could use the old bearing race to help press it on, but if you've got a piece of inch and a quarter pipe, uh, pipe nipple or something, it fits over it real well and it'll make it to where it's easy to push the the new bearing race on. If you've got a press it's handy but in the field you may not have that. So again I've taken the bearing race with the radius side first, wipe this off, slide it over the top and now I'll just take the piece of inch and a quarter pipe and tap this on. Again if you got a if you got a press it's great, but if you don't have a press, this is the easiest way I've found to put a new race on. That's all it takes to put a new bearing race on. Was this tip helpful? Tell us in the comments below. If you would like more tips and tutorials like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the like and notification bell.